Both light heavyweights preferring the center of the ring. A lot of circling, a lot of attempts at variety of punches, like that left hook. Came right out of nowhere. seconds we'll have a minute to go in this fourth round uh, a pair of left hooks missing very dangerous twice open for a right hand we've got that one minute rest in about 50 seconds over 60,000 watching here at the Superdome in New Orleans Louisiana Punches that you're seeing landed add up. They're very accumulative. Being caught by both fighters, they're not heavy, sharp knockout punches, but will show up later in the scheduled 15-round fight. Ooh, there was a low blow, but unfortunately it was blocked. But all fighters are protected with the cup. Banging light heavyweights. Look at that. There's a good left hook that shook up Rossman. Rossman caught it on the chin. Galindis, the champion in red, catching a most the heaviest left hook that he's landed thus far. Let's go into the dressing room now. Muhammad Ali and Frank Gifford. Muhammad, uh, you can sit here quietly and watch this. Yes, I'm uh, watching these two fellows. This Galindis, I'm surprised that he's not done as good as I thought he would. And you can actually sit here with what's coming up ahead of you and watch this fight. Well, I'm used to it. I'm naturally nervous. But with people like my man Johnny Cash right here coming to see me, it gives me a lot of inspiration. Waylon Jennings in here. You've got quite, quite a group. Thank you. Good luck out there tonight. This lights on Ellie came by and Chris Christopherson and, and, and then John Travolta sitting over there. John, quick, come here, come here. I want y'all to just look at John Travolta. Give us a quick step, John. Say hello there, buddy, John. Well, this is John Travolta. So you know I got a heck of a corner tonight. Liza, come here, Liza, quick. Okay, quick, come here. Come here. we got to go back. Here's Liza. How you can sit here, I don't know. Let's go back to Chris. We ready now. I got a team in here. Well, I hope we can book a concert with that talent. Johnny Cash is already at a concert in the Super Bowl. And I'll tell you, Mohammed, John Travolta may be almost as good looking as you are. All right, now we move in to the fifth round of the scheduled 15 round light heavyweight bout. No knockdowns. Both fighters have absorbed repeated heavy punches. That's Mike Rossman, the challenger, 22 years old from Turnersville, New Jersey, about 40 miles from Atlantic City in those long blue velvet trunks. Galinda's shorter in the red trunks, the champion. It's 11th defense. Again, good scoring, looping punches by the champion. He is wearing the middle now, going to the body and the head of Rossman. Remember, Rossman has never been down. But fighting back. Perhaps youth will be a liability. Surprised Rossman doesn't get away from the ropes. Can hardly do it now because he's pinned there. The referee should should move in and get him off the ropes. Although they are punching three hands. Ooh, there was a rabbit punch, unseen to the referee. These are brawlers. They're right for the Mississippi, the wharf area, and this is a pure brawl in the fifth round. Minute and a half to go in this fifth. Keep punching away like that. And Galinda's leaning on the challenger. They will be very tired light heavyweights as we move along. They won't get a rest until one minute from now. Tremendous looping, hooking punches. Uppercut by Galinda's the champion now against the ropes. Rusman finally got away from it. Good left jab and Galinda's countering back.
Rossman may be suckered into the brawling style of fighting that Galindas likes. 30 seconds to the bell, the fifth round. That left hook, looping, missed by about an inch. Ben Rossman becoming more upright, more classic, keeping that left hand high, but in waits the Argentinian. The first great one out of Argentina, of course, Luis Angel Furpo. That was a glancing left hook. So while they rest after that action packed fifth round, let's go to Leon Spinks dressing room with Frank Gifford. And Leon with his uh, nephew, Charlie. Leon, you sit here just as quiet as Ali is watching another fight. What's going through your mind, though? Nothing. It wasn't nothing going through my mind through the time for me and Ali stepping in that ring. You ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. If, if I'm not, I'm in a world of trouble. <laughs> Are you a little surprised the way this fight's going now? Yeah, I expected to go, I expected to go a lot quicker. But, you know, man can show the state, I mean, show the world just like I did. I'll tell you something, I am amazed at both you and Ali, how quiet and calm you are. I want to wish you the very best. Thank you. Okay, good luck, Leon. Okay, let's go back now to Chris Schenkel. Okay, Howard Cassell and I here at ringside, and I mean we're right in the corner of Mike Rossman. And Howard, I think you're probably surprised with a brawling style that they've allowed themselves to fall into. Not on Galindez's part, like other Argentine fighters, especially Monzon, he knows how to use the shoulders, the arms, the elbows. And that's where he's going to hurt Rossman. Mike Rossman, six feet tall, 173 pounds. Galindas having to shed six tenths of a pound to make the 175 pound limit today. Had to weigh in twice over a period of about an hour and a half. It shouldn't have sapped any of his strength because both these light heavyweights worked extremely hard the last few weeks. They have fought this year. Galindas has four bouts under his belt here in 1978. The last July 8th, a knockout over Paulino. This is the fourth bout for Rossman, trying to get that jab in. His last was a second round knockout over Matt Ross in Atlantic City. Missing with the right, but landing with the left jab. Those jabs being blocked by the, the right hand glove of Galindas, the champion. Pace was fast in the fifth. Now electing to slow it up a bit, wisely so. Good right hand lead, right on the chin, and down go the hands of Galindas. Right above us now. far we've had a very timid referee he's Carlos Baracol of Panama and a good left hook a glancing blow but it took its toll Belinda senses that he really hurt Rossman well I have to say no wonder Rossman has never been down he can take a wallop those are rough punches by the Argentinian and they're in the very same corner against the ropes and that Galinda's using that torso like a football player. He is vicious. We're in the last minute now of round six. A little blood now coming from a cut over the right hand. Eye of Galinda's in the red trunks with his back to us. Getting a lot of blood from that cut over the right eye of Galindas, the champion. He's on the left as you look. Good punches by Rossman. We have about 12 seconds remaining in the sixth round. And they'll have to do some patchwork on Galindas' right eye between round six and seven here at the Superdome. 